go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's that time again, and I am still a little punch drunk with all the rank ups that I have done. In this video, we have 15 rank ups, okay? So I'm gonna do a little bit of a different format. I'm not gonna make you watch all of the different rank ups of 15 different champions. Uh, we'll shorten them and all that good stuff, okay? So if you think you can guess any of the 15, so you have a good chance to get some, at least one, leave a comment down below. If you think you can guess one of the rank ups or more, all right? But we're about to get started in five, four, three, two, one. So first things first, I'm not going to show you the first rank up. I want you to see my score. And at the end of the video, you'll see my ranking in this level up. Okay. Over a million points in the level up. I went a little crazy. Now that includes leveling up uh, some of the new champions that I got. May not have ranked them up, but I leveled everybody. And then I had a bunch of rank ups. And not all of these rank ups were done during this level up, but most of them were. I think like the first three were done in a previous level up, okay? I went nuts. All right, so... The first rank up is going to be Mojo. So that was done a while ago. I got a Mojo. And the reason that I want to rank him up, I want him to be in a position to help me out in one of the challenges where you have to use Mojo. I didn't even have a Mojo until recently. So I wanted to take Mojo up. Before I do the challenge, I might take him to rank four. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Now, next one is going to be Black Widow. That is very similar to Mojo. I got the Black Widow recently. She's also used in one of the CCP challenges in the uh, Karina challenge. And she will help me out quite a bit. So I'm going to rank her up. Now, eventually, probably before I do that challenge, I will have her um, max sig. So we have a little bit of time before we do that. Okay. Now, so that's uh, Black Widow. Next up is going to be Werewolf by Night. You guys know I was hunting for Werewolf by Night. And I finally got him from the Women of Power challenge or event. Was able to select him. And I've heard he's really good. Now, he's available as a seven star. So I wanted to take him up a little bit for right now. Now, the thing about taking my champions to rank three is that unless I'm actually grinding for a champion, I do not use rank three and below of my six stars. I don't. I only use my seven stars and my four and five ranked six stars. That's it. So if I want to start using a champion... I need to take them to rank four, okay? So, next one up is gonna be a um, rank two, seven star. Think y'all can guess who that's gonna be? Well, it's going to be Thickums. I was so happy, y'all. I was so happy when I got Thickums here. Titania is good. If you don't know, now you know. 
She is worthy of a rank three. She is awesome. Okay. So had to take her to rank two. She's not awakened. She doesn't really need it, but it does help out. All right. So took her up to rank two. Oh, by the way, sometimes I, you know, in previous videos for the rank ups, I would kind of gather them together so that all of the champs I took up to rank three would be in the beginning. Then I would move on to the rank twos and, you know, not doing that in this video. Okay. In this video, it's how I rank them up in the order that I rank them up. And that's going to be important later. Okay. Because we become valiant in this video. All right. Anyway. So the next one after Titania is going to be Namor. Now, you guys remember me talking about Namor in uh, one of my Alliance War videos. He is a good alternative when it's somebody that my Hulkling can't take or, you know, maybe if they blocked and, an, uh, you know, Hulkling or something like that, they banned him. So I like to have an alternative. And for my path, which is path three, Namor cooks. And I use Namor... And he died, and I don't think he would have had he been higher ranking. So that's what was behind my thought of taking Namor up. Also, even as a seven star, when are we going to take him to SIG 200? This Namor is already SIG 200. So I want to take him up. Uh, maybe he'll go to rank five later. We'll see. All right. Now, after Namor, we've got Red Skull. Red Skull recently got a buff, and he is good. He is a very tough defender now. And so I took him up because I want to take him uh, into my um, Battlegrounds pack and let them have to deal with that Red Skull. He can be very, very annoying on defense. So... Uh, he will probably at some point in time go to rank five. And I don't know how good he is as far as um, on offense. But on defense, he's solid. Okay. Um, after Red Skull, I took up Ironheart. Just got Ironheart and then duped her. And I've heard that Ironheart is pretty good. I think they said that she... Um, who does she replace? They were saying she replaced, I think, uh, Black Widow, Daily Origins or something. I I'm not sure. But I don't know why people were saying that she replaced whoever it was that they said she replaced. I looked a little bit at her kit, and she seems pretty solid. Okay, she seems pretty solid. So I'm like, all right, we'll take her. Now, at this time, I could only take her to rank three. And so I'm like, I want to, you know look at her a little bit more and maybe see where I can use her. All right. Um, I saw a couple of things in her kit and I'll probably make a video on it uh, that kind of interested me. And so I'm like, okay, okay. Now, after Ironheart, here is where we become valiant. Now, for those of you who had not seen it, I got a skill two to three rank up gem. I also have enough resources to take up a seven star to rank three, but not all of them. So here's the problem. The champion that I wanted to take up to rank three, I didn't have enough um, T6 basic uh, class catalyst for them. And so... In order for me to take up the champion that I wanted to at rank three, I had to first become valiant. Because when I become valiant, I have more options, okay, in the store, you know, and all of that, so that I would be able to get the resources to take that other champion up. So I have a skill gem. Who do you guys think I took up to become Valiant? 
I'll give you a little bit of time. Five, four, three, two, one. Elsa Bloodstone. Now, I watched um, KT1's video where he didn't even mention her. Poor Elsa. Um, as one of the uh, best skill rank-ups. Uh, and he had good reasons for who he chose. I like Elsa. She will be coming to a Battlegrounds near you because I already use her. I use her in Battlegrounds. She usually goes on defense in war because I run the ouchies. She is nasty, okay? And so I took her to rank three. I had a one to two rank up gem and then took her to rank three. Oh boy, I've already used her. I'm using her in um, the event quest and she is ripping stuff up, okay? Let me tell you. So I can't wait to see how she performs in Battlegrounds, okay? So that's why I decided to go ahead and rank her up. Now, my other options as far as skill goes, um, Chileth was one of the ones that KT1 mentioned would have been a good uh, rank up. I don't know her that well, okay? So while I like Elsa, I don't know Chileth, and so I wasn't going to take Chileth up, maybe later, but I needed to become Valiant. Once I became Valiant, oh boy, the store updated, and I was able to get the, um, the T6 uh, basics that I needed, uh, the T6 class catalyst that I needed to rake up another champion. So later on in the video, you're going to see who else I took up, okay? But, I mean, I, I was surprised because I hadn't really noticed just how good, like, the Battleground store is now. I can get a whole T3 Alpha. I'm like, what in the world? So, yeah, this is how the other half lives. Okay, I see. So, I am valiant, and it feels good. All right, next up, all right, we've got Deathless Guillotine. I had to take her up to rank two. I love Deathless Guillotine. That is my fun rank up, okay? Now, she doesn't have, you know, any of these immunities and everything, but I like the fact that instead of bleed, she does degen, and not a lot of uh, champions are immune to degen. Also, for war, she's ex magica, so she can be used in war as well. And I've actually used her uh, once, I think, in war, okay? So I definitely wanted to take her up. Something about girls with swords. Ever since Red Sonia, that's where it started. So you know, long time ago, back in the day, warriors with swords, female, yeah, I, I just love them. What can I say? All right. Next up is going to... Now, before I, I um, switch over to that, the reason that I did this in order is because after I became Valiant, I looked at all of the resources that I had from completing and exploring Act 8. And so now I'm going to be able to take champions up that I couldn't before. So next up is Photon. Now, she is available as a seven star, but if you watch my video, my awakening, my um, uh, crystal opening video, last one, I couldn't pull her. So who knows when I'm going to get her. But a, a rank five, um, I think I did eventually take her to SIG 200, um, is going to be very good in uh, Battlegrounds until I can get the seven star ranked up and all that good stuff. All right, next up is Kate Bishop. I took her to rank five as well. And I have not fully explored Necropolis. Maybe I will take her in when I do that. Or maybe I'll just keep using Aegon. We'll see. But I was impressed with Kate Bishop. I heard so many nice things about Kate Bishop, but I was impressed 
when I started actually using her. Her cold snap damage is nasty. And oh my goodness. She is a really, really good champion. So I see now why a lot of hype was around her. And the hype has not gone away. She is good. Okay. Next up is going to be Cosmic Ghost Rider. You guys already know. I should have taken him up a long time ago. But he is a nuker. And right now in Battlegrounds, it's basically a nuke meta. Okay. But he's also good because he's bleed immune. And in on path three... That first node in section two, path three, he's great for that path, okay, uh, for that node. He's bleed immune. If there, um, if there's a villain on that node, he puts an armor break. He is nasty uh, against um, Killmonger. Great Killmonger counter, okay? So had to take him up, all right? Next up. It's going to be Iceman. So I got to tell y'all a little bit about this one. I, when I took CGR up, I was like, I want to take Iceman up, but I also want to take CGR up. And I don't have another rank five gem. But then I remembered in the store, there was an X Magica rank up bundle. Iceman is X Magica. And I looked and it was like uh, 3,000 units for a rank five gem, basically. So I did that. Oh, yes, I did that thing. And that's how I ended up ranking up Iceman. Okay. Now. Here is where we ranked up my third rank three seven star. This is the one that I had to become valiant to do. And I actually was debating over a couple of champions. Okay. But the third rank three seven star is domino domino so the reason that i did that i have bishop he's not awakened domino was already awakened and and um like sig 40 or 60 or something like that i don't remember um and i was like i need to kind of look at my prestige because my prestige is probably the reason that um, I'm not in my old alliance, you know, it was really low and I couldn't keep up. Uh, and of course everybody's prestige is going to just keep going up and up faster and faster. But I did improve my prestige quite a bit. I wasn't even at 20 K, but after all that I did, my prestige is now like 21, four or five or something like that. I can't remember. So big prestige boost not to mention domino since she's already awakened i would not feel bad giving her six stones which is what i did i dumped a bunch of six stones into her because the more six stones she has the better okay so perfect now i thought about taking up titania to rank three and i could have but again prestige and now that i'm valiant I'm going to be able to get more rank threes faster than I did before. So Titania will go up to three one of these days very soon, in fact. Okay. Then the last, last, the last rank up. I still had a rank four gem and I used it on. Ironheart. So I took her up to rank three and then I became valiant and then I got all of these rank four gems. And I'm like, you know what? I want to use her more often in uh, the arena and I need her at rank four. So I'll be playing around with her. And like I said earlier, I did see something that really interested me. Okay. So we're going to see. We're going to see. All right, 
So that is all of the rank ups. I'm sorry this video was a little long because 15, 15 different rank ups and I had to comment on each one, right? Um, but anyway, to end it, I'm gonna show you what ranking I got. There, that is my ranking. So you might've thought over a million would get me rank one. No, 22 other people were crazier and went wilder than myself in this uh, level up. So anyway, that is gonna do it for this video, guys. I am so punch drunk and giddy over this. My account has changed significantly and my Battlegrounds deck is way stronger now. All right, anyway, take care and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.